and welcome back. And as we promised, very exciting segment taking place here. We are about to embark on Mandarin 101. 101. Yes. And we have with us Hua Yu Chen, uh, who is a certified Mandarin Chinese teacher from the Ministry of Education in Taiwan. Good morning, Good and morning. thank you for being here. Good morning, Malini. Good morning, Jiang. And it's my pleasure to be here. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could remember um, we spoke to you, uh, myself, along with Duane. We had a session about two or three months uh -huh. ago. Chinese New Year. And Chinese yes, Chinese New Year. New Year. Yes. And uh, my words to you right now, Ni Hao. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy you still remember that, and that's our lesson one today. So Malini can learn the ni hao today. Ni hao. I can yes. say it. I don't know what it means. Okay, I will explain okay. it to you later. Mm -hmm. So okay. shall we start from uh, why we have to learn um, hua yu? Hua yu, um, as you can see on the uh, PowerPoint, mm -hmm. hua means Chinese, mm -hmm. yu means language, and hua yu becomes the Chinese language. And mm. in uh, Chinese, because it's a very different system, uh, written and spoke, spoken mm -hmm. system from English. So, so people think about, oh, it's very difficult. Uh, but Hua Yu, um, as we will learn today, is not that difficult, actually. Hua and uh, Yu. Hua Yu. Yu. Hua Yu. We have four tones, and we will explain it okay. later. And uh, what is the trend that uh, I know a figure that about 40 million people mm -hmm. studying Chinese as the second language mm -hmm. in the whole world. And I think that's about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. the, the figure is about 10 years ago. So now it's more than 40 million people that study Chinese, not the first language, but the second language. language. Mm -hmm. So it's a trend in the whole world. And even the, uh, Mr. Trump's grandchildren, yeah. as you can see on the news, yeah. they, they send a Chinese song to, yeah. to uh, Mr. Xi from China. Mm -hmm. So the first reason is very, uh, because we have one, mil one billion, billion. Yeah. one billion people who speak Chinese as their mother tongue language yeah. in the whole world. And that's about one fifth oh. world, world population. population. So, so learning this language gives you access to communicate with yes, one, one billion, billion people. people. Wow. And that's because uh, the Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, mm -hmm. is the official language that's spoken in Taiwan, Hong Kong, China. And also, if you go to Singapore, mm -hmm. many people, they speak Chinese. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the Chinatowns in the United States, of course, New York, mm -hmm. Los Angeles, oh, you will see those, um, the, the, the advertisement, they are mm. all in Chinese Chinese. character. Mm. They are not in English. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so you, it's very convenient for you to travel around the world and especially to the Asia, mm -hmm. East Asia area, and also Japan and Korea and Indonesia and Malaysia because they have many Chinese people uh, there. Yeah. And uh, they, are being, they, they are being influenced by mm -hmm. the Chinese culture very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you go to that country, if you learn Chinese, it will help you a lot Absolutely. in understanding their language and communicating with them. And even you go, if you go to the restaurant here, mm -hmm. yes. grocery store yes. here in Belize, you can speak Chinese. Uh, although I have to mention that uh, the official language is because China uh, has many different parts, mm -hmm. and uh, each different parts has their own dialects. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a very um, complicated. Um, so there's there's like the formal language. Yes, it's the official. Okay. The official language that's uh, taught in mm -hmm. schools mm -hmm. that everybody has to learn. But if you go to Hong Kong, many mm -hmm. people they speak Cantonese. Mm -hmm. It's a dialect of southern uh, China mm -hmm. in Hong Kong and Guangdong. And uh, the grocery store's owner here in Belize, mm -hmm. usually they sp uh, speak Taishanhua or Guangdonghua. It's a southern, wow. southern okay. China dialect. But they still have to learn the, the Mandarin Chinese. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. the official language so that everybody has to learn that. So if okay. we were to use it to kind of explain it for Belize. It's like English. Everybody in, in Belize 
knows learn English, English, learns yes. English, mm -hmm. but yes. we speak Creole. Yes, it's kind of that. Yeah. And also in Taiwan, uh, we have Taiwanese mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. dialect. But in school and in news media, mm -hmm. you you hear and speak and learn Mandarin, Mandarin. Chinese okay. as the as our official language. So that's why we say that uh, uh, if you go to these places, mm -hmm. this uh, the Mandarin Chinese will be the language that you speak. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. that, yes. Well, that's great information. Thank yes. you. So again, Hua Yu is my name. Your that's name. your name. My name. Mm -hmm. yeah. My first name. Yeah. And and, and it means. Uh, Hua again. It means Chinese. It's the yeah. same word wow. as the. Hua. Is that why you decided to to learn to teach Mandarin? <laughs> <laughs> I, I found it fascinating when I first the, found the first slide. So learning Chinese, the practice of learning Chinese is called Hua Yu. Um, not the process, uh. but uh, a Chinese language. Chinese language is Hua, Hua Yu. Hua Yu. Yu. Okay. okay. And my name is Hua. Mm. Because we have four tones. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is where our lesson will eventually take us. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will be our lesson too. Okay. So uh, today, um, our, our the third reason for learning Chinese is that you will open more opportunity mm -hmm. for your business and career. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you know one more language, language yes. and then you can find more jobs. And I know that many uh, students here, they apply for Taiwan scholarship yes. to study in Taiwan. And uh, their first lesson should be learning the Chinese because you have to communicate yeah. with your daily life. So uh, for business too, if you are in the tourism business, mm -hmm. business or in the uh, government mm -hmm. offices, you have many uh, opportunities to speak Chinese with tourists coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's one more important reason. Yeah. And the other reason is that the culture, uh, the Chinese culture has 5,000 years. So we have lots of literature, mm -hmm. drama, mm -hmm. TV, art. and art, mm -hmm. music, and uh, movies, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And also Tai Chi, mm -hmm. um, Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi, yeah. Yeah, it's an uh, exercise that's slower movement, but mm -hmm. it helps to move your whole yeah. body. body. And okay. that's very good for all ages. Yeah. And by the way, uh, this weekend is the World Tai Chi Day. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the last, last Saturday of April, April. is yeah. the World Tai, tai Chi Day. So uh, when I was in New York, um, they have the World Tai Chi Day that uh, thousands of people playing Tai Chi in the Central yeah. Park. Wow, that that's fascinating. It's Definitely. great. Tai Chi, I, I've done Tai Chi before. I think really, it's, yeah, and I think <laughs> it's it's fascinating. It's slow movements. You're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but I like the the concept of the energy transfer. Yes. Um, that takes place, and it is very meditative. Yes, it's a your whole body. Yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. it's nice. So yeah. so we'll do Tai Chi lessons next. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. So that's the reasons why many people and we have to learn, learn Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Those reasons. Mm -hmm. And then another reason because people think that oh, it's a totally different system from English yeah. and Espanol. Mm -hmm. So oh, it's very difficult for, for me. I, I don't want to learn that. Mm -hmm. But to everybody's surprise, Chinese is not that difficult. It's actually very easy. For the first reason, uh, Chinese has no verb conjugation. Okay. Oh, that's easier than Spanish already. <laughs> <laughs> so there is no, uh, when, when we learn English and Spanish, we have to memorize go, went, gone, oh, okay. voy, vas, va, vamos, van. Mm -hmm. And that's only the uh, present, sen uh, present right. tense for the Spanish. Yeah. And I, I haven't learned the, uh, the past. past yet. <laughs> <laughs> I say everything in present. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's very difficult for yeah. me to, to learn that. But in Chinese, we use the same word, zo. Mm -hmm. that, that's the word for past, present, present and, future. and future. Great. So What's the word? So, 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 so. Okay. yeah, that's go, uh, boy, <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. so that's the first reason because Chinese is easier. So that's go, going, and when? Um, yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. so, yeah. so, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we still have some uh, grammar later, okay. but this is much easier because you don't have to memorize the. <laughs> different no, words, it's only tense. one word, yeah. Yeah. the same word. And the second one, we don't have uh, non-declension. 
So la mesa, mm -hmm. el libro, mm -hmm. no, in Chinese, 桌子, shu. Yeah. So there is no gender. Yeah, no female or male. No el female. la. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, just, just the thing, mm -hmm. just the thing's name. So it's uh, another easy reason for you. Yeah. yeah. And the third one, uh, the basic uh, structure of the Chinese sentence is subject, verb, object. So it's the same as in English. Mm -hmm. That's the basic one. So it's really not that difficult for you to, to, to so learn. Right. Okay. okay, and on the second page, uh, we will have the, uh, I just, uh, uh, I, I read books to my children last week, and it, it happened to me that in English, uh, every animal, their little ones, has different Can names from the, the big one. from the big ones. <laughs> and uh, that's so hard for me to, <laughs> to remember that. Mm -hmm. And I, I suddenly thought that, oh, in Chinese, it's actually the same word, word for the animal. We just add one word, that's xiao. I will write it here. That's xiao? Xiao, xiao. it means small, little. Oh, so, so it's it's simplified. So it's either the little dog or a dog. Or a dog. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So for the little one, xiao mao, xiao go, that means little, uh, little. kitten and puppy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's in Chinese. We just add a xiao. Mm. So it's not that difficult for you to remember those um, animals mm -hmm. names. Yeah, you don't have to memorize oh so many so um, puppy. Words. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 And on the next page, we will play. A game here. Mm. Um, <laughs> Chinese characters uh, is the um, mm -hmm. it come it comes from the pictograms. Mm -hmm. That's about three thousand years ago. Okay. The very ancient Chinese people. Mm -hmm. They started to carve mm -hmm. uh, the the pictures on the oracle bone mm -hmm. or on the stone. Uh, to to communicate with things and especially in the emperor mm -hmm. uh, th they have their ceremony to mm -hmm. the god so now I uh, didn't write any English there because mm -hmm. I want you to guess what that is so let us see the first one from the left side okay you can see there is a circle mm -hmm. uh -huh. and a dot inside okay uh, the word I choose today is all the very basic um, words okay. that will happen in our uh, environment, in our nature, mm -hmm. and that exists for thousands of years. So Sun. it didn't. <gasps> oh, <laughs> is it right? Yes. <laughs> Well, it looked like I, I the even, circle looked like a yes, sun. I yeah. even didn't mention about it. <laughs> it's the sun and. Uh, after several hundred of years, mm -hmm. uh, people, Chinese people just translate it to uh, standardize it. Yeah. Because if everybody just draw, it, it looks different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people standardize and simplified mm -hmm. the word and then it becomes okay. mm. That is mm. 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 means sun. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, okay. and the second one, mm -hmm. it looks like let me draw like an ancient we'll get it one. Out. The same line. So there was the ancient. Uh, that's the ancient version. Yes. Okay. So this one, it still and it's on the sky too, mm -hmm. and it mm. change. It changes its shape mm. every day. It doesn't like the sun. The sun didn't change the shape. No, Cloud. the sun is always there. No. And this one changed the shape. So, is it a cloud? Wind? <laughs> no. Uh, not the moon. The moon? It's the moon. Moon, yes. Moon? Yes, because of the course, moon. Of course, the crescent. The moon changed yeah. 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 its shape. It's the moon. Mm -hmm. And usually we see the moon like this, this shape. It's mm -hmm. not a round one. Mm -hmm. So then Chinese made it become Yue. Okay. Yue. 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 So okay. we have sun, yu, 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 and yue. 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 That's the okay. moon. Okay, and the third one, it looks like it's people need to live near that because it's water. A <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm too confused today. <laughs> 
the, yeah. uh, you know, the ancient ones for me, because they're more pictorial, yes. uh, they're very easy to figure out. Yeah. Yes, because I cannot draw like them. Yeah. I think <laughs> they, are, they are artists. They are artists. <laughs> so it's the water. Okay. okay. Which and is? then the fourth one is easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire. Um, no? No. It's on the nature and... Uh, Trees? Um, bushes? It's very high. Mountains. 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 Oh. Okay. Ah. So it's Shan. Okay, and now, uh, how our, okay. Mm -hmm. So we should. <laughs> Is it a person? No. no. Is it a tree? A, oh, yes. Oh, All okay. right. <laughs> Maybe I should have. <laughs> or something. I, yeah. I've solved it before <laughs> the leaves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did, you did. So it's a tree. Okay. So that's, uh, we call it a wood. Mm -hmm. Mu. Mu. And uh, now it's interesting if we have two, mm -hmm. two, trees. two wood, two trees here, mm -hmm. and that becomes the woods. Okay. Ling. Okay. okay. Mu ling. And these are two trees. Mu ling. And then we have three trees. Three trees. Mm -hmm. mm. So there are more trees. The and then yeah. so Mu forest. Ling. It's okay, a forest. forest. So Mu Ling. Mu Ling Sen. Mu Ling Sen. Yeah, okay. the pronunciation is all different. But uh, it's very but logical. Written, yeah, written it's, it's yeah, different. It's okay. very logical mm -hmm. for uh, people to know that it has the meaning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the last one mm -hmm. is our, one of our food. It's a food? It's a, uh, I should say it's a living thing. <laughs> it's, Fish? It's, <laughs> It's a living it's thing that becomes our food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fish. I don't know how to drive like the, uh, how how to draw like them, but in Chinese. Okay, that's it. Mm. Mm. It's my okay. name's pronunciation oh, too, but yu. yeah, but my name is Hua Yu, hua and yu. then this this one is Hua Yu. yu. Okay. This one is Yu. yu. Okay. So because Chinese uh, has four tones mm -hmm. in the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. so and those are? Uh, so for example, if we have ma, ma, ma. and uh, we have a first one, that would be like this, mm -hmm. ma, mm -hmm. ma, ma. Ma means mommy, mother. Okay. Uh, actually, there are many words okay. that has the same pronunciation, but mm -hmm. uh, just example, that's ma for mommy. Ma? Mm -hmm. ma, uh, ma. ma is a kind of, uh, I think that's a weed, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the kind of plant. Okay. Ma. Ma. ma and ma. Ma. Ma, ma is <laughs> horse. Horse. Ma. Ma. And this really helps with the sound. With the sound. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so it's so this is ma. ma, yeah, ma, 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 ma. yeah. Oh. I love so, <laughs> so every you, word. It is absolute. I mean, it's very simplified when we see all of this because this. I mean, I think that's fascinating. Just the indication of of how you would say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why I put uh, our first lesson here. That's the greetings okay. to everyone mm -hmm. and. Um, Okay, I think I will turn to Let me the... Do. Okay, next All right, there you go. Okay. Our first lesson, <laughs> di yi ke. Di yi ke. Di yi an. Okay, okay. That, that, that does have our one, two, three. Yi, er, san. And in Chinese, it's one, one two. two Three. That's very okay. easy, right? So, so today you already learned ten characters in Chinese, and uh, for for you to familiar with uh, Chinese reading and writing and speaking, mm -hmm. you just need three thousand. Mm -hmm. And today only you learn ten. about ten. So so that's a long way to so go, but it's a start. <laughs> yeah, two thousand nine hundred and ninety. Amazing, right? Yeah. But it's amazing. Yeah. You you start. You just start, and you have ten ten words. Already. So what's the pronunciation of those again? E. E R San. 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 So today we have our lesson one. That's D E K E 
This is one, one. E, two, two, three. three. Yes. E, one, two, three. One, two, three. And that's E, R, San. So that's all listen to. So <laughs> <laughs> Today, we will have our first Ni. How. How. Okay. Oh. This this looks like a Y. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a Y. But it's a yeah yeah okay. Ni hao. This these two words are uh, both on the third tone. Okay. So it's ni hao. But uh, when we are uh, in speaking speaking Chinese, if we have both words that's on on the third tone, mm -hmm. it will be naturally. Uh, the the first word will become the second tone, so it will sounds like ni hao. Ni hao. Because hao, we have to hao. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, when we combine these two words together, and then become ni hao. So ni literally it means you. Mm -hmm. Hao means good. Oh, how good. Mm -hmm. Literally, mm -hmm. if we separate mm -hmm. each word, but when they combine. It just means hello. Hello. Okay. It's a it's a greeting. Ni hao. Yeah. yeah, it's a, the the most uh, uh, normal greeting yeah. to everyone. And in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whenever you see someone, mm -hmm. you can say ni hao. Okay. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Very good. <laughs> so ni hao. That's the greeting. Hello. Mm -hmm. um, every day. Every time, and today we are going to learn Okay. Okay. Uh, here is the name. Okay. Okay. Jiao, uh, literally, it means call. So it's a little bit like me uh -huh. mm -hmm. My name is. My name is. So, wo jiao. Wo. Marlene. Your name. And today, mm -hmm. you have your Chinese name. Mm -hmm. And you have your mm -hmm. Okay. So, for Marlene, it's gui. Uh -huh. uh, let me write here. Now, how do you translate a name? Um, uh, for, for Westerners, okay. because your name... Uh, okay, let, let me explain that in Chinese, we have our family name first. So let me write down my, my name here. Okay, this is my name. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, in English, we just use the... Uh, oh, you pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So Chen uh -huh. Chen is my family name, mm -hmm. and Hua Yu Hua, Yu. Hua, Yu, Hua Yu, Yu is my uh, first, first name. name. So in Chinese and uh, I think in Japanese and Korea, mm -hmm. we put our family name first, first, first yeah. because it's the cultural um, concept that okay. family always comes first. first if you don't okay. have your ancestor, mm -hmm. you, you you are not here. Mm -hmm. So we have our family name first and then have our given name. Mm -hmm. So in Chinese world, you will find that many people have the same family name. Okay. Chen, Ling, Huang, Wang. Mm -hmm. They all have the same family name, but they are not related. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for Maleni, um, let me write down here. Gui <gasps> Ma Wow. Oh, try something. Okay. <laughs> Learn your. Oh, yours is easy. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this Gui, uh -huh. pronounced like Gui, it Gui. comes from your last name, Kui Yar. Yeah. Kui Yeah. So it. Gui. It, I try to find a similar uh, pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. For, for the Chinese. Mm -hmm. And Ma Lian stands for. Marleni. Marleni. Ah. So Ma Lian. Gui Ma Lian. Ma Lian. Lian. Mm -hmm. So that's Gui. 
Gui, ma, ma, lian, lian, yeah, and uh, uh, in Chinese word, um, this one is the os osmanthus. That's mm -hmm. a flower, a very, uh, a very good smell flower. Oh. Mm -hmm. Chinese people like that very much. Mm -hmm. And ma is agate, um, the kind of stone. Okay. The, the red stone. Uh -huh. And lian is lotus. Lotus. Yeah. Mm. So when we have the the, the names, mm -hmm. I try to find a word that's uh, pronounced similar, similar to your name, to yeah. your name, and uh, try to find a word that's uh, better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because it uh, for for the same pronunciation, we have so many different words. Uh -huh. So the, some of them are not so better look <laughs> at here. So in other I words, we didn't the use one. the bad words or the negative words. We found the good ones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your name, Gui okay. Ma. Lian. So Ui, ma lian. Yes, so you can say Ni hao. Ni hao. Wo jiao. Gui ma lian. Very wow, good. Full sentence. Wow. <laughs> full sentence, yes. And for Jiang. Bo. Jiang. Bo. Jiang. Bo. The key is sh. Uh, ch, 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 yeah. Okay. Bo Chang. So it comes from the Palacio Pa Bo Chang. Chang. <laughs> and Bo is Cypress. Mm -hmm. Chang oh. is strong. So Sweet. Strong mm. Cypress. Nice. So for Chang, you can say Ni Hao Bo Chang. Yes. Wow. Wow. Well, that was very, that's a lot <laughs> from one first lesson. <laughs> you know, Hua Yu, yeah. I think one of the things that I definitely see in your explanation so far, which probably nobody could have convinced me of before, is that it is very simple. simple it, yeah. it, the yes. literal translations, the simplicity in, in how it's put together. I think it is something that perhaps isn't as difficult to, to learn. That's true, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if we have chance next time, we will learn the, the four tones. Mm -hmm. And that would be easier for you to uh, understand uh, every, every time you see the pronunciation. And then you can pronounce it. Yes. So today, uh, we just learned the Today very we're doing it one. by memory. Mm -hmm. Yes. The next time we have our Mandarin lesson, because this continues, we'll be doing uh, the tones, right? Wow, so we have three lessons here on OYE. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so today the, you have to memorize this mm -hmm. and uh, uh, just recognize this character. Yeah just make you familiar with them. Yeah, yeah. Wow. and uh, yeah. later you can uh, start yeah. to write it. And that's another thing. But today, you, uh, because uh, learning language, the basic thing is to communicate. Yeah. So if you can speak and listen and understand, that's the most important thing mm -hmm. for you to learn the language. So you have to have the motivation yeah. because you want to communicate with people. So today you know that uh, when you meet any Chinese speaking people, mm -hmm. you can say Ni, ni hao wo jiao ki ma lian Gui ma lian Gui ma lian Ni hao wo jiao, <laughs> jiao bo jiang Yes, and that's the whole sentence in wow. Chinese. What do you know? We've learned a sentence. In 10 minutes. In I know. <laughs> well, I think it was a little bit more than 10 minutes because <laughs> we're getting our cue to wrap up. Mm -hmm. But it has been, you know, thank you so much for coming in. I think uh, we you. really underestimate the potential we have to learn new languages. And it is important to keep challenging the brain as Definitely we get older. It is. That's yeah. one important thing. Yeah. Yes. So if you want to learn something, uh, I have a website here that's from the Ministry of Education in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. It's the Huayu World. Um, okay. It's in English. <laughs> H U A Y U World dot org. Okay. Huayu World dot org. Huayu World dot org. And um, if you want to learn something, you can go to the website and they have some resources there 
that you can learn, and they have some textbook too. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you for coming in thank and sharing you. with us. We are convinced it is uh, definitely going to be a lot easier than we thought. Yes. And uh, yes. I, I, we appreciate the time you've taken to prepare for this presentation. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That's right. And uh, when we come back, it is for the wrap-up. Stay tuned.